What's up guys, Coop here and today I'm going to be showing you guys a build on how to build a quote unquote death knight. Uh, this is as close as I could get to a really really good uh, powerful build. Uh, some people in my comments have mentioned this build, I've watched some different YouTube videos with this, and I thought I would actually show you guys this with a little bit of gameplay of early game and later game and how to build your character. So. How do you build this character exactly? Well, you're going to be going with the Undead Dwarf. Now, you might be saying, why the Undead Dwarf? Well, the Undead Dwarf uh, has a nice little ability of getting healed by poison. It's a little bit different of a healing style. Um, it kind of is a little bit... The Undead is really, really complicated, but they heal based off of poison rather than actual heals. Um, and it's kind of like one last person to really focus on your heals which is kind of nice, um, but the way that we're going to be building this is where it's not going to be a problem at all that he's an undead. Also, undead custom, or all, all custom characters get Dome of Protection, which is really, really nice. Um, especially as a tank, you want to make sure that you have your physical and magical armor always up, and it also gives you elemental resistances to all your allies. Really good ability. Um, it gives you a nice little way of restoring your armor, which is exactly what you need, especially as a tank. Um, also, you want to be sure to get a shield and sword as soon as possible. Uh, the tutorial sadly doesn't give them to you right at the start anymore, but uh, it's really nice to have because it gives you the shield up ability, which partnered up with Dome of Protection gives you multiple different ways of restoring your shields consistently, which is what you want, especially as a tank. Last part is um, being a dwarf, you get the sturdy perk, which gives you 10% uh, more vitality, giving you more health, and 5% dodge, which we're not going to be getting dodge that much, but having dodge in general is not a bad idea, especially since, you know, if you have a 5% chance of uh, dodging, it's a nice chance just to have in general. So, basically we're going to be going with the fighter, um, but obviously we are going to be changing it a little bit. We are going to be doing the Hydro Fist uh, ability and the Geomancer. Also, you're going to be wanting to get one in Fevery. Now, Fevery, it's a little bit weird, you're probably thinking. But um, keep in mind, undeads don't need lockpicks. They are a lockpick. They, they use their bony fingers to just lodge it in there and unlock any doors, which is really nice. Um, so just make sure that you always put points in the fever, especially if you have an undead in the group. So that's just a really nice ability um, since you can pickpocket and open up some early doors and get some of the nice loot inside. Um, just in general, really, really nice ability overall. So. Uh, what exactly skills do you pick? Well, you choose rain. Now, there's multiple reasons for why you do rain. There's a really good combo between this and the next ability, but um, the main reason that you're going to be choosing rain is because it also gets rid of fire and a variety of other different um, sort of abilities that would kind of hurt you. So it's really nice to have that, and also it hits uh, enemy players. So say like you have a shock or any other abilities that can combo with water, that's a really nice way to do it. Next ability you're going to get is Contamination, which I'll show you a really good combo of that, but it's also a way of healing your character. So it's a nice little heal for you to use. It only costs uh, one action point and it resets every three turns. And next you're going to be getting Fortified just to give you some more armor because, you know, you're the tank. Um, now keep in mind you're not going to be sticking to these trees all the time. Uh, the Geomancer tree is really not that bad, but the Hydralisk tree we're only using it for rain. So later on try to focus on getting things like Warfare or Necromancer. Uh, next we're going to be getting the talent Hothead. Now, Hothead is a little bit different than Opportunist, I know. Uh, Opportunist is really good for damage over time. However, Hothead um, just helps out with this build a lot more because that 10% chance of critting. Um, so you have a 1 in 10 chance of actually slashing and it critting, which isn't that bad. And you have 10% more accuracy. Uh, and you're going to be at max health pretty much all the time. Um, it's really hard to not be at max health. Uh, especially towards the mid game, uh, especially with having your shields always up because of the two different abilities that we have here with uh, Dome of Protection and then later on having the shields up ability. So, not a bad one in general. So, let's actually dive in and show you guys some early gameplay. Alright, so let's dive in and actually show you guys some combat. Um, it's a little bit tougher to use, especially since rain ability is really not that reliable all the time, but make sure you're at the same elevation as kind of where you want to cast the spell. Next, you're going to be casting it getting everybody wet then you're going to be clicking contamination basically poisoning the ground around you and then that's kind of where your bread and butter is so as you can see the area around us is completely covered in poison however we heal through poison so it makes it really really nice overall for us so what we're going to do is we're going to add some physical armor onto us give us a little bit of 
advantage here. And we're gonna go fight. Now obviously I wish we had a weapon to actually show you a little bit more of the advanced combat, but this is basically the general necessity of how the build works. So we're gonna sit here, we're gonna heal, we go over here, we have an alternative heal again. So we go over here, boom, add some more poison on the ground, punch the living crap out of this girl, and that's it. That's basically how this build works. We're just basically healing from the poison and allowing it to do exactly what we needed to do. Then we cover the place in rain again, and then eventually we'll poison it again. Seems like she's already given up. Uh, there are slight weird bugs, especially in the early game, but that's basically how it is. And as you can see, we're critical uh, hitting constantly now, so it's really not a bad idea. And boom, that's how you basically kill in the early game. Hi there, this is me from the future. I apologize for the hard cut, but I just wanted to let everybody know that a variety of the different build videos that I've been doing, I am going to actually be doing a walkthrough of showing advanced gameplay and sort of me going throughout the game. So if you enjoyed this build and actually want to see a little bit farther into what it can become, be sure to look at my long uh, walkthrough that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to be using this and the Necromancer build and a few other builds that I have been building along the way, so be sure to check that out. Um, we might possibly be uh, doing a Twitch stream at DATCOPGUI on Twitch. Uh, it's Dat Coop Guy, it's my channel. Uh, but be sure to be on the lookout for that, especially if you like this build. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.